big one, because wrongful arrest, guys, often happens because staff members are just not trained. They don't understand that the perception of somebody walking out with a can of Coke, right? And they might say, geez, I'm going to do, my manager's going to be really happy with me now. I'm going to chase him down the road and grab the can of Coke back off him. That could be worth 15 grand like that. And, the, and, and people are getting really, really clever about how they create that wrongful arrest scenario. That can of Coke might have come from their fridge, right? So there has to be training in place. Um, and here in our, uh, we developed a program that focuses on these seven pillars, okay? The first thing is observation, right? You must observe what ha what's happening. You must always have a line at sight with somebody you suspect of shoplifting. If you lose that line of sight even once, you cannot make an approach. Okay, that's our rule, cannot. Selection, you must see the selection. You must see the concealment and conversion. You must witness the failure to pay. Only then, outside the shop, with somebody else, can you maybe make an approach. And only then, okay, uh, can you potentially say, not with an earshot of anybody else, excuse me, I believe we may have forgot to charge you for something, rather than, you stuck something from my shop. Okay, so th th these are all the rules in terms of trying to minimize that risk. And of course, you build an evidence file. Now, how often do you think those seven steps are checked? Like, how, how likely is that in the retail sector? It's next to impossible. So the message often is, if you suspect that unless you have those bits in place, you cannot run out after somebody, okay? And believe it or not, you'll save that, your, your business a lot of money in that sense. And unfortunately, there's that attitude that says, well, we don't want to be a soft touch. That's fine. But in the, today's climate around insurance and claims, you will go out of business because you won't be able to afford your insurance premium. Okay, so it's kind of, a, which, which is the worst?